Hello and welcome back. In the last video, what we have done is we have tried installing a Windows machine, Windows Server 2012. Now, in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to install a domain controller uh, in this Windows machine. So, let's get started. So, this is a uh, this is our Windows Server where I have taken a remote control of the server 192.168.1.175 and now we are going to install a Windows uh, domain controller. Now click on manage, add rules and features and then what you need to do is you need to click on next. Then you need to select rule based or feature based installation. Then let it be default and here what you need to do is you need to check this box active directory domain services and click on it features and then click on next click on next again click on next again restart the destination server automatically if required so if a restart is required this server will restart blah 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 click on yes and then click on install so this domain controller installation will not take more than a minute. So it should happen within a minute, uh, which depends on the resources that you have given to your system. So this domain controller also installs uh, the DNS as well. But before that, we have to uh, assign a domain a name uh, for the system, what domain name we are going to use. Okay, so the installation is uh, completed. Now we have to configure the domain controller in this system. So you need to click on this link, promote this server to a domain controller. And then there are three options. Out of three options, we are going to choose the third one because we are not going to join this domain to a existing domain. So uh, we'll choose our domain name as you see, collabing.com. And then we'll click on next. Here we'll leave everything as default and then we have to create a password. So this password is used by the directory service restore mode. Click on next. Click on next again where you don't have to define anything. Here also you don't have to define anything. It will auto populate the domain. Click on next again. Here again, you have to click on next. Here again, uh, you'll get a lot of uh, options. Uh, I generally um, will not, uh, I'll not review this at this moment, review your selection. So you can just click on next. <clears throat> Okay, all prerequisites checks pass successfully. Click install to begin installation. So we'll click on install. So this will take another one minute more for the installation to happen. And then finally we'll get the results. Looks like we are at the end of the finish of the installation. Okay, so it says you are about to be signed out. This the computer is being restarted because Active Directory Domain Services was installed or removed. Click on close. So your system will restart automatically, uh, and then uh, you have to re-log in again. So let's see from here what's happening. So you see the virtual machine is getting restarted. And after it gets, after it is restarted, it will, you know, um, enable some of the services, policies, etc. Let's give it a minute time so that all the services are up and running.
<clears throat> okay so the system is up so let's take the remote again so i have to enter as So I have put in the domain name first and then uh, administrator and then the password. So click on yes. And your system is up and running and it is currently added to a domain. So to verify this, what you can do is you can go to start, click on properties and you can see the full computer name here. So it is added to uccollabbing.com domain. So I'll pause the video here right now. And in the next section, what we are going to do is we are going to create the DNS entries for the call managers, Unity Connection, I'm in presence, UCCX, etc. Thank you for watching this video.